Hello everyone, welcome to Crack You video series. In this video, we are going to discuss Static GK Economics question for SSC, CGL, CHSL and MTS 2022 exam. This video is part of our GK video series for the SSC, CGL, CHSL and MTS exams. As we know, SSC, CGL, Tier 1 exam date is out that is 11th April till 21st April and SSC CHSL exam date is also out that is 24th May till 10th June. You can check out the previous year papers of both these exams on our website that is in. We are also providing one free mock for SSC CGL and 15 SSC CGL mocks for rupees 149. The link to these resources are mentioned in the description box. You can check them out. Let's start with today's session. Which of the following is not a part of India's money market? The correct answer is E that is Indian Gold Council. So Indian Gold Council is not a part of India's money market and the money market in India is the short term and long term funds with maturity ranking from overnight to one year in India and it includes financial instruments that are deemed to be close substitutes of money. Who amongst the following can take benefit of the social security fund established by the government of India for unorganized workers? The correct answer is D. Rickshaw puller. Rickshaw puller can take benefit of the social security fund which is established by the government of India for unorganized workers. Who presented the dynamic theory of profit? The correct answer is B. Clark. His full name is J.B. Clark. Who believe that profit arise in the dynamic economy and not in the static economy. Clark believe that those entrepreneurs who successfully take the advantage of these changes in the dynamic economy make the pure profit which is an addition to the normal profit. With which article of the Indian constitution is money bill related? The correct answer is B that is article 110. Money bill deals with financial issues such as taxation, government spending and so on. Which of the following is not a consumer right as per Consumer Protection Act 1986? So the correct answer is E that is right to negotiate. So, right to negotiate is not a consumer right as per the Consumer Protection Act 1986. The Simon Commission was formed to review. The correct answer is D that is a constitution for India. So, the Indian Saturatory Commission is also known as Simon Commission. Indian Saturatory Commission is also known as Simon Commission. It is a seven members of parliament under the chairmanship of Sir John Simon. Which of the following expresses the Marsh Law's motivation theory? The correct answer is C that is where human needs are arranged in hierarchy. So Marsh Law's theory states that our action are motivated by certain psychological needs. It is often represented by a pyramid of needs with the most basic needs at the bottom and more complex needs at the top. The major aim of the devaluation is to the correct answer is B that is encourage exports. So uh, the major aim of devaluation is encourage exports. Offloading of government shares to private company is known as the correct answer is B, that is disinvestment. The demand for an inferior good decreases with dash in the consumer's income. The correct answer is 
A that is increase. So the demand of an inferior good decrease with an increase in the consumer income. This is because the consumer is now able to afford a product of a better quality in inferior goods. It depends on salary or income of a consumer. The dash exchange rate is the price of one unit of foreign currency in term of domestic currency. The correct answer is B that is nominal. So the nominal exchange rate is defined as the number of units of the domestic currency that can purchase a unit of a given foreign currency. Dash is the relationship between the variable input and output keeping all other inputs are held constant. The correct answer is A that is total product. So the relationship between the variable input and output keeping all other inputs constant is often referred to as total product of the variable input. What does indifference curve represent? The correct answer is B that is satisfaction derived from two goods. So it is a combination of two goods that give a consumer equal satisfaction and utility thereby making the consumer indifferent. Who gave the general equilibrium theory? The correct answer is B. Leon Walras. So general equilibrium theory attempt to explain the functioning of the macroeconomic as a whole rather than a collection of individual market phenomena. The theory was first developed by the French economist that is Leon Walras in the late 19th century. Who is called the father of economics? The correct answer is A that is Adam Smith. So Adam Smith was an 18th century Scottish philosopher. He is considered the father of modern economics. Smith is most famous for his 1776 book that is The Wealth of Nations. Economic development depends on the correct answer is D all of the above. So economic development of a country depend on national resources, capital formation and size of the market. Which institute governs the money supply in India? The correct answer is C that is Reserve Bank of India. So the Central Monetary Authority is the Reserve Bank of India and it is designed to maintain the price stability in the economy. Transport comes under which sector of economic growth? The correct answer is C that is territory sector. So transport comes under territory sector. Fishing comes under which sector of economic activity? The correct answer is D that is primary sector. So the primary sector of the economy includes any industry involved in the extraction and production of raw material. So such as farming, okay, fishing, then logging, hunting, forestry, mining, etc. What is an octroi? The correct answer is A that is tax. So in India, some cities like state of Maharashtra briefly abolished octroi in 2013 and replaced it with the local taxes. So, on 1st July 2017, with the introduction of GST countrywide, the octroi has been abolished. Hope this video will help you in your preparations. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment to our channel. Press the bell icon for instant notification. Thank you. All the best.